Hi everybody, welcome back to the Le Petit Saint Crochet blog. I'm Elise and this is Little Dorothy Deer. She is a pattern from the Little Cotton Rabbits. You know who I love those patterns, but anyway, I created this color work chart. So this dress pattern is actually from the Little Cotton Rabbit seasonal dresses. Then Susie Marie made a modification pattern of this dress pattern and then I modified the modification. So if you can kind of follow that rabbit trail going down. But anyway, I created this little autumn acorns color work chart here and I am sharing it on the blog with you. So everything that I'm going to talk about today, there is going to be links in the description description box below. But first of all, so we have been doing our Knitting Toys 101 series. So we started with the cable cast on, then we moved on how to knit and purl, and today we are doing knitting increases. So there are two that you are commonly going to find in Knitting Toys patterns, and one is Knit Left Loop, and the other is Make One or Make One Left. You can say it either way. So we are going to jump right into this, and I can't wait to share with you my little a autumn acorns. Increasing and decreasing gives our toys their shape. So I'm gonna actually demonstrate on my little fox head, I think she's turning out so cute, that I'm going to show you back here is you're going to see the increases. These are all the increases. This is what gives the little head the shape. So we've got to start here and we have to increase our stitches. And then when we come back around here, we've got to decrease our stitches. So these are all decreases in here. And so I'm going to start showing you a couple of common increases um, that you might encounter when you are knitting toys. I'm going to start with the M1L or the Make One Left. Now this is, um, I love this increase and I think it works really well and it's not too difficult. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have 10 stitches here on my left needle and I'm going to knit the first two just so that we kind of get into our little fabric swatch really quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this left hand needle here and do you see this connecting strand right here between my two stitches? You kind of see it's a little bar right here. We are going to take our left hand needle from the front of the bar to the back. We're lifting it up like this. And then I'm going to knit into the back of this bar. So I'm going to take my right needle and I'm going to knit right into the back of here, just like I would normally knit and we have added a stitch now. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to knit one. I'm going to knit another one. So I'm looking for this bar. So there's the little bar right there. I'm going to pick that stitch up with my left needle. And then I'm going to knit into the back of the stitch, just like normal. So now I've added two stitches. I'm going to knit two again. And I'll show you another time. Identify that bar, it's right there. So I'm coming from the front. And I'm going to knit right into the back. There we go. And then I'll knit the rest of them. So I've actually now added three stitches to my little fabric swatch here. And we always count to make sure just because it makes life so much simpler if we just count along the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, for this increase, I am going to show you how to do the KLL, which is the knit left loop. So this increase is just a little bit different and I want to begin by kind of showing you the construction of these little knit stitches. So as you can see, each one of these knit stitches is like a little V. You can see there's a little line there and a line there that makes up the little V. So what we are doing is we are locating that left slant of the V of each one of our stitches. So what we're going to do is I'm going to knit two here first, just regular how we always do. Now what we're doing is we are going to be looking for the left side loop of that V, but we're not doing it directly below, but two below. So if you kind of see, 
So this is the first loop. This one right here is the second loop. And you'll know you have it because you have a nice little loop here. And now what we do is we just knit into the back of it like normal and we have added a stitch. So I'm gonna knit two again. This one was a little bit tricky for me for a while just because I had a hard time identifying that second loop. But once you get the hang of it, it starts to become a little bit like second nature and it's easy to find. So here's that first loop and we don't wanna knit into that. We need to go one below. And so I haven't quite got the whole stitch so I'm gonna kind of come back out and I'm gonna go back into it there. You can see that loop right there. It's very defined. So I'm going to go into the back of that stitch, wrap it around and knit just like normal. So then I'm gonna do this again, just so you kind of get the hang of it. I'm gonna identify there's the top one. So I need the second one down. I'm gonna get, an, okay, yep, I got it because I can see that nice defined little hole right there. I'm going into the back. Knitting, and I'll do it one more time because this one is a little bit trickier and sometimes it just takes a little finagling and I used to think that you would want to come behind it but it's really not behind it you're kind of right here and there it is there's like a little sweet spot that you're looking for and it just creates a very nice increase and I'll do it one last time first loop and there's the second loop we're coming and there it is you can see it very defined right there and we are done and I hope that helps I'm going to show you how this has changed this fabric from doing both of these increases so you're starting to see that it's starting to fan out so we had like a smaller area here and then it's moving out like that and those are our increases I am so excited to share my little Autumn Acorns color work chart with you. This really, really was so much fun for me. I ended up knitting so long yesterday that my hand is um, so sore <laughs> from all of that knitting, but I couldn't wait to share it with you all. I actually have the chart in my blog post so that if you would ever like to use it, feel free to use it. It's right there on my blog. So I kind of want to give you a little background about how I got interested in doing this and how it all came to be. So when I did the little piggy and I shared this, I think it was last week, the little pumpkins, I just loved this color work chart. And this is from Susie Marie Knits. Now all of these actual patterns are from the little cotton rabbits and you can find that link in the blog post and on the YouTube channel. And what this is, is this is the modification from Susie Marie Knits of the little cotton rabbit seasonal dresses pattern. So Susie Marie has um, made a modification of the dress, made it a little bit fuller, and then she has all these beautiful color work charts on Ravelry for anybody to use, and I just thought they were so beautiful. Kind of got me thinking like, hmm, I would like to do something like that. I didn't really know how. And then one of my bestest friends, Katie, and you can find her at Katie Crochet on Instagram, she messaged me and actually said, hey, I've been thinking like, I think I might like to, you know, do my own, design my own color work charts. And it got me thinking, you know what? I need to look into this more. So I kind of looked into it and found a way to do it. And I, I started out right away and it was so much fun. And I love all things fall and I love these deep, rich colors. And I really wanted to use an acorn motif. So I just started playing around with it. And actually my husband helped me with the math part of it, which is really fun. But I literally could not be happier with how it turned out. So you can go right to the blog post and check out that chart. Um, and the way you would probably need to, um, if you wanted to use it for yourself and print it, you just take a screenshot and then you could print it because that's what I've had to do with any of the Susie Marie knits. Just take a screenshot. And um, I just, I love it so much. I still have to put the little button back here, but I just think it turned out so, so pretty and I hope you like it too. <laughs> My friend Tanya and I are here in downtown Concord and we are, she's taller than me, and we are checking out this cute little, well, we don't know if it's cute yet, this little, um, Co coffee shop, coffee shop to see because we are starting a yarn group, yay! Thank you so 
so much for stopping by the Le Petit Saint Crochet blog. This is little Dottie and this is little, <laughs> I can't remember what her name is. <laughs> what is her little cute autumn piggy? <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you would hit that like button, I'd love to hear from you. Where are you from? And I will see you all next week.